Hello, hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Listen, I want to talk to you today about a couple of smart food investments, okay? Then I'm going to come back to this page, where, of which I'll give you my personal oatmeal muffin recipe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forgive me flipping the book and flipping the page. You know me with trusty notebooks, but here we go. Here are some smart food investments. Now, this is why, okay, I'm going to outline it for you. One dozen eggs, let's face it, a dozen eggs, you get 12 single servings of possible meals or six double servings. Now, you're probably saying, duh. Well, no, not duh, because if you are very, very low on funds, uh, this duh helps you get through a few days, okay? So if you live by yourself and you stretch it out, you get 12 guaranteed days of breakfast. And yes, you can get by on a hard-boiled egg, which is actually the most inexpensive way to prepare an egg. All you do is boil it in water. Doesn't require fat, doesn't require butter, anything of that nature. And of course, there goes the bird clock. What else is new? Okay, meal ideas. You can make egg salad, frittatas, Omelets, deviled eggs, scrambled or fried. Average cost is about $2.79 a dozen. So if you have about three bucks, you got a done deal. Some places and many other places are much cheaper than $2.79. So if you could get a better price, go for the better price. So that is a definite smart food investment when funds are low. Bag of split peas. I cannot emphasize enough. If you like split pea soup, this is your ticket. Uh, I've seen these bags of split peas range from as low as 99 cents for a bag to about the highest I would say I've seen it is about $1.49 to $1.69, which is still very, very cheap. Now, what do you do with it? It is You can make a huge pot of soup, and it requires only the water and two bouillon cubes. And if you do not even have the bouillon cubes, fret not. You work with a teaspoon of salt for flavor. You know, salt is a very, very, very good uh, food investment because, let's face it, when times are low, funds are low, Salt can definitely bring out the flavor, and that's very, very inexpensive. So anything else that you add to this soup is your option, okay? So therefore, you absolutely, and you get, I would say, about six to eight generous size servings from a typical bag of split pea soup. And by the way, it freezes beautifully. So if you would like to bring it to work in your future or something, you can make it, split it up into those wonderful containers, freeze it up, take it with you easily, and nuke it up at work. Just saying, just saying. Smart food investment, couple of cans. I said two, two cans of chunk light tuna. Now, some people are hell-bent on having only solid white. Let me tell you something. I have discovered over time, and this is the truth, that I actually prefer, write this one down, prefer the taste of chunk light tuna. The one, the chunk light tuna that's in the vegetable oil one in the can, let me tell you, to me, it reminds me of Italian style tuna, the expensive one. There's something reminiscent without the expensive cost. So a couple of cans of chunk light tuna, and you, you know, you got yourself a couple of days of protein, whether it's if you have it at lunch or dinner or whatever, you could interchange it. You could uh, use this old deli trick to plump it up and stretch it even further. Uh, crumble up a couple of pieces of white bread and add it with your mayonnaise and remaining recipe. You will have doubled this recipe. I'm not even kidding you. Because those pieces of bread that you enter into it by crumbling it up and putting the mayonnaise is blank. There's actually no taste, but what you're doing is you are volumizing it. So you're taking a very inexpensive item already at about $1.49 a can or less if you could get it even cheaper. 
and you are stretching it. If you do not have mayonnaise, funds are low. Uh, you hopefully maybe have some vinegar in your cupboard. Use like a, you know, to taste a little bit, spritz a little bit of the vinegar on there with a little bit of garlic or onion powder and you are good to go. The next smart food investment, let me just fix this book a minute. Thanks for your patience and understanding. <laughs> the next smart food investment, box of oats. Now, you've probably heard this a million times, right, about oats. Well, there's a reason, because it works, okay? Now, I'm going to give to you my oatmeal muffin recipe. This, okay, first of all, the value of oats, of course, you can make individual meals at any time, breakfast, lunch, dinner, you know, there's no name on, on food. I don't know why some people assign certain foods for certain times of the day, whatever. If, if your funds are low and you're hungry and all you have is a box of oats, don't say, gee, I need to wait till breakfast to eat them. No, that's ridiculous. You can have your oatmeal any time. It's healthy. It's good for you. It's inexpensive. And uh, depending on where you go and what brand you get, you can get a uh, quick oats, for example, for like less than $2. Okay. So, um, what's more expensive, of course, are those individually wrapped packages of oatmeal. Uh, those are, you know, I consider those like those instant ones, kind of sort of a luxury item. You are much better off, uh, investing less than $2 or about $2 or maybe slightly more of the quick oats, which by the way, <laughs> I have news for you. Those uh, one-minute oats uh, takes just as equally to make easily in your bowl with hot water. Uh, this is a secret that I have, you know, discovered like years ago. Add your own flavorings to taste. You have your own individual flavorings. If you have cinnamon, throw in cinnamon. If you just want a little bit of sugar, have a little sugar. Some people put in milk and butter. Whatever your flavor is that you like. Now, we're going to... Uh, make uh, or consider making my favorite oatmeal muffin recipe. This is the least expensive way to go with the oatmeal muffins, in my opinion, and quite delicious. You can have an oatmeal muffin from scratch anytime. Don't have to wait till breakfast. doesn't have to be after dinner as a dessert. You could have it as a part of your meal. You could have it as a meal component. That would a banana or, or a vegetable on the side, or a salad, you got a meal. You got a meal. You don't have to be fancy schmancy. I'm telling you, when funds are low, and these are filling, and I know that kids like them too, because I've given them to kids. Preheat your oven to 350. In the meantime, you'll sp use either spray or margarine or whatever grease you can to grease up your muffin pan. If you don't have a muffin pan, why not consider uh, making it as a loaf? Um, okay, what you're going to need is one cup of oats. You could use those quick oats, like I mentioned. Um, you could use, not could use, you need to use one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Again, these are investment foods, oats, flour. A half a cup of white sugar does not have to be brown. If you don't have brown sugar, this is why I put in my recipes this is what keeps the cost down. One half a cup of regular good old white granulated sugar. One teaspoon of cinnamon. In fact, that's a trick of mine. Whenever a recipe qualifies or uh, requires brown sugar, um, I don't do that. I substitute the same amount of regular sugar with a teaspoon of cinnamon. Good trick to remember. Two teaspoons of baking powder. A pinch of salt. These are all your dry ingredients, so you're going to throw all your dry ingredients in a mixing bowl. The oats, the flour, the sugar, the cinnamon, the baking powder, and a pinch of salt separately. You'll combine in another bowl. One cup of milk. One egg, slightly beaten. Beaten. A quarter cup of whatever oil you have on hand. Remember, your funds are low. This is not the time to be fussy. Okay, if your funds are low and all you got is vegetable oil, put that. You're not going to put olive oil, that's for sure. 
quarter cup of oil. It could be vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever oil you have. So you're mixing the milk, the egg, the oil. Then what you're going to do is you're going to combine. You're going to mix the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Now, this is a trick that I have learned on my own. I think it works well. You mix the ingredients. Don't overbeat it. Mix it enough till everything's well properly combined. Let that ingre those ingredients sit in a bowl. Do nothing to it as the oven is preheating. Let it sit there three to five minutes. I said five as the uh, you know general answer. Let it sit there a couple of minutes. Then you put you fill up your muffin tins about halfway, and then you bake it for about eighteen to twenty minutes at the three fifty that has been preheating. All I could say is yum, 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 and yum. So this is my uh, smart food investment tips of today. We could always go back to this topic in the future. So if you have, let's say, $10 or less, and you need to stretch for your family, these are the food items you go for. You go for the oats, okay? Back flipping again. Whoops. Oats. The eggs, you could do so much with your eggs. Bag of split peas or lentils if you prefer. A bag of lentil soup, you, a bag of lentils for lentil soup is wonderful. And a two cans of tuna. And you're covered. You are literally covered. If you, uh, if you can, pick up a couple of apples for snacks. They're filling, they're fast, kids love them. Cut them in slices and share with your family. The sizes of fruit say is astronomically huge. Take that one big fat apple, cut them up. Just saying, just saying. You can do this, okay? Together, we can help each other. And in the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing. Why? Because I really do appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day.